Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to episode 57, I think, of my Let's Play of Europe Universalized 4 as Germany. Today we are going to fight our coalition. We just declared war last time. We're also going to be declaring war on Scotland, so, uh, yeah, don't get too comfortable over there, Scotland. We need to get over here and break this blockade so we can move in on the, on the islands here. Yeah. It looks like we run a battle against the Russians. Great. All right, let's uh, let's just, oh, stop, stop, stop! I hate this that the game gets so fucking laggy that you can't even hit the damn pause button without it like stuttering and shit. Damn! Why, why do we only have three armies over here? And we have four armies over here. Mm, let's try to get across here, if it'll let us. Um, looks like they're just hanging out there. They might have mountain defense. Mm, it's only 13 mountains, so I, I'm not going to... Uh, but I could have sworn I had four armies up here. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's just hiding underneath one of my other troops. Alright, so we've broken the big Russian army. So we're going to make some sort of line against the uh, against the oncoming onslaught. Okay, um, yeah, here we go, this is how we'll do this, do to do, do Alright, so let's start sending troops out in various siege teams. And we're going to want to keep ourselves tight because if we get jumped, we're going to want to be able to con contract quickly. And uh, we're going to just split up our boats here and blockade the shit out of Denmark. And it looks like we're also going to need to somehow siege Bornholm. Yeah, we have way more morale than Denmark does as well. I'm not too worried about that conflict. Alright. So we've successfully blo blocked up their ships in that one quadrant. So we'll probably just go, um, we went into battle in Novgorod, great. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to basically uh, detach a blockade. And then we're going to detach our transports. And then we're going to have this unit go back to protecting trade. Why not? Alright, now... Transports take, um, it's, oh, um, let's have them sail just to here, and then we'll take half of these troops off. Oh my god, what the, f so we'll take like half these troops off to go and fight the siege here in Bornholm, the little island. Wow, I, I the one thing I don't like about paradox games is that they the, near the end they start getting really sluggish, just because there's so much they have to do. And since we're at war, we're gonna just lower it to like three speed, just so that I can you know keep an eye on everything and hopefully the game won't uh, chug along as much. Man, this is terrible. I wish it wasn't so bad, but whatever, you know. What can you do? Still too much fun playing this game. Alright, looks like we're going to need some more backup over here. So yeah, we're going to just cut moving more troops in because they're going to die. Pro we're probably going to lose that fight, actually. Yeah, he squished our army, damn it. Come on, more troops get in there. I know I I know I brought more. And we have so much more morale and discipline, I don't understand why we're not winning. 
Come on, get in there. Reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. Oh my god, what the fuck are these guys doing? Look at how slow they're moving. They're like, oh, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there when we get there. It's like, no, that's not acceptable. Do you not understand? We are losing the battle. Help. Ugh, I can't believe we squished. Now we're gonna have to build more. Sucks. Oh well. Skein is done great. Let's send more troops to fight the Russians. Soviet bear! Oh god. So many. So how's this assault? Let's, let's assault that. They have hardly any troops there, that's why I thought it would work. And it did work, yay! Alright, let's move the troops then back on the boat. Get on the transport. And we'll actually take them up there, and then we'll move these guys, and then um, we'll have them both get on the boat. Oh, apparently they defeated our navy here. Okay. If you say so. Alright, let's move our troops in to attack the Ottomans now. No mercy for anyone, ever. I like how it's so la it's like it's running so slowly that like if I take a look at like troops in a different area, it's like lagging. Those troops. <clears throat> So it looks like, uh, um, Scotland. And let's declare war on them next time we get a chance. Oh, the other troops didn't get there yet. Huh, our boats are too fast. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna put it on fire speed because that has instant troop movement. And then we're going to drop these guys as close to the battle as we can. And then we're going to return to here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, go fight, dummies. Hmm. Hopefully we can get in there before they... Dock up. Scotland hates our guts. Perfect time to declare war then. Oh, I think we're gonna have to break our military axis. There we go. Well, we killed them at least. Let's just stay here and no, let's protect trade. In the back now for real, especially now that their fleet is gone entirely. There's just nothing left to worry about really. All right. Um. Novgorod. Uh. God damn it! What the fuck? Stop. Jesus. Okay. Hello, Ottomans. I see you. Going to Coney. Coney land. We are going to stop you. Go away, kebab. Alright, now we're just going to chill here. I am disappointed. Very disappointed. I mean, at least if we if we just stand here, they're basically not going to be able to harm us. Why, game? Why must you lag so... There we go. I think we're going to go hit the button on Muscova. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't like how this is going over here. They got just 292 troops just sitting there taking attrition on top of each other. Why are our vassals so dumb? Why are they not sieging better? Why is Castile getting anal raped over here? Why? Why are things happening in such ways? I am not sure. What I am sure of is that these transports did not go where they were supposed to go. You were supposed to go drop them off. But they decided to just leave them on the boat. Which is not the plan. Not the plan at all. Alright, now we should be able to declare war. Oh, so much to do, so little time. There, I think the game will run a little bit smooth, more smoothly out here. Um, yeah. And if we just set up a defensive perimeter about there, then there's no way that the uh, Ottomans will be able to get through. And they'll be screwed, they can't attack or kill anything. Alright, so our troops made it over here. Let's send them down to there. You guys should also go down there. Our boats in their hand. We need to go pick up these 40 stack this 40 stack here. We're gonna give them the Leopold guy. And he will hopefully transport our troops to glorious victory in Scotland. Yep. I really wish we didn't get five frames. That's kind of shitty frame rate, but whatever. That's how that's how these games run, you know. When when you're making them chug like this, when you have such a massive war, so many calculations going on. I get, I bet the game gets away with a lot because it'll just have you know, um, like for instance, a lot of this should normally be covered with fog of war. <laughs> But since uh, since we're like allies and stuff, and all of our vassals, it might it might run more smoothly if we in hit the button to integrate the Holy Roman Empire. But um, honestly, here I, I, there's some things I can try. Let's go ahead and uh, no, 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 yes, borders. Uh, no, no, no. No. Yes. Okay. That, I think, looks a little bit better. And we're getting about the same frame rate. I See, this is why I don't think that... Like, it's so it's obviously... I turn all the settings down, right? And then it's like... This clearly is a paradox issue. Like, the game is just bogged down. There's no way I could possibly make this run faster. I, I just turned down all the settings and I'm still getting the same fucking frame rate. Whatever. Oh well. I guess we just have to deal. And I want to know what the frick is... What the hell is happening that we are losing... The race? God damn it! You guys are failing me at every turn. Why is... The AI is so fucking retarded. Look at them. Oh, this game is just making me pissed today. Uh, we gotta do everything ourselves. Everything. Every damn thing. I mean, it's okay. We'll just move our troops that we have over here in uh in Denmark. When they're done sieging, they'll go and help siege elsewhere in France. Let's see. How's uh? Oh, hello. Let's, uh, let's see if we can hit the button here. Yeah, they got three breaks in the walls. Let's do it. No, we just lost all our manpower, basically. And of course we get attacked, and I can't even respond, really. Whatever. It's okay, they're gonna take a shitload of... Yeah, because we have way more morale still. Even with the... Uh... Yeah, looks like we successfully sieged Konya. The Ottomans are moving in over here, though, which is not good. 
So if we stop there, then we'll have only three borders. And we're gonna send these forty, these fifty thousand units just to go around and attack. Because why not? Hopefully the uh, Venetian army there will help help us out. And hopefully this army won't just fucking stand there for the rest of the game. That's gonna really piss me off if they do. Let's go to Fife, I guess. We won the battle, yay, great. But I'd like to land in Fife, please. Alright, come on. You can do it, game. <laughs> I believe in ye. Oh, this is this would not be half as hassle half as much of a hassle. Wait, wait, what the hell? Why is the um why are the Western Isles the capital of Scotland? That makes no sense. Alright, so we're going to send our 19,000 army to just go let them siege Orkney if they want. That's fine. We'll just siege up the entirety of their continent and then uh, if their army ever wants to fight, they can. They know where we live. Got a bunch of rebels over here, apparently. It's interesting. We're going to move our troops up a little bit on the Ottomans. Durkadur. We got a, we got a Siege Durkadur. Or Dulkadur. <laughs> Dulkadur. I swear that's what it says. Alright. Um, there's a lot of troops over there, so this might not have been the best idea. Let's go Siege Constantinople with this army, because I totally forgot to do that, and that's going to be important. Ugh, and I really, really, really am pissed that we're not winning over here. You guys, are you moving or what? No, they're just like, oh, well, we got our massive army here. Let's do it. Come on, guys. We can totally just hang out here all damn day. And we'll win. Just kidding. Not really. They're just going to freaking die of attrition all day there. No, well, apparently we got a... Uh, well, uh, sorry, Scotland, but you don't actually stand a chance at all, so. Not to be, not to be mean, but. I'd like the game to pause, please. I hit the pause button. That's like the. That pisses me off the most, honestly, is when it doesn't register that you hit the pause button because there's like some stupid pop up or something. Or if you hit the pause button twice because you don't think it registered, but. Oh, God. So. So many. So many lags. You know, it, it, honestly though, it might not even be Paradox's fault. I, I'll admit that it, it is possible. It could be my computer. It is a little bit old. Like like two to four years old. So, I mean, I, I get pretty good frames in like Battlefield. I get like 60 um, on medium-ish settings. So I, I don't see why it couldn't run. It obviously runs this game pretty well. Uh, just not, not nice frames on five speed or anything, honestly. Any speed over so I, I mean uh, there is room for improvement on the computer side but I feel like the reasons that that's not why it's not performing I think it's just because the game is poorly optimized in my opinion right. okay uh, what are we gonna do let's See, I, I mean, the biggest, the most of the, uh, the Ottomans' army is up here in uh, Western Germany. Or Eastern Germany, rather. So, I, don't, I mean, if they siege, it's not that big a deal. I was mostly concerned about Russia, which now seems like they, they do have a lot of troops left, but I don't see them <laughs> anywhere. Uh, I don't know where their army's running to, but hopefully it'll get squished immediately, because if we have to actually fight, that might be bad. Um, I don't know what's taking these damn armies over here so long. They've got breached walls over here. Let's assault that and see what happens. 
Worst thing that we can do is uh, just lose our manpower, right? I mean, we do have three holes breached. That's the thing. As long as you got the walls breached, you still got, you got a good chance. It looks like we might actually do well. I mean, it was pretty good. We did pretty good. We eliminated some of the troops there. It might have been a, li a little bit of a waste of manpower, though. In all honesty. So these armies, uh, we're just all going to go to Constantinople, hit the siege button, and hopefully break down the wall and steal Constantinople quickly, and then use our army to go and slay the Ottomans up there. Uh, let's merge these guys up because I don't, I don't want them to be by themselves. And Kharkov. Looks like we're just getting more and more Sunni zealots over here. Do you finish the conversion? No, of course not. Oh well. Let's merge these guys up in Kursk. Same with same with these ones. What the? F Seriously, we lost the Battle of the Highlands because their damn army. Oh my god! You gotta be freaking kidding me! Well, I guess we're gonna lose those points. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some stability just to. Uh, Booster. There we go. Three stability. Yay! We have a bunch of admin points, so I don't. There's no reason to not do that. We got nice stability now. Thank you, game. Stability is good. Stability is great. Why they have no morale? They should squish right now. I swear to God. Really? Oh God! They keep on squishing us. It's pissing me off. I can't pay attention to all these wars, and I really wish our vassals would move that massive army, but they won't. They're so dumb. They got 200,000 units sitting there, and they could just easily, they could so easily destroy anything they wanted to, but they don't. They're just like, nah, it's okay. Whatever, I'm disbanding that unit. I don't need it. That's cool that we got another vassal, though. or not another vassal, but another uh, thing. Another missionary, I believe. Alright, now we have all of our military leader slots taken up. And Tula is over and good. Like, why are we losing this? Seriously. Oh. Because they control Burgon. Well, I mean, if the damn people would fight. Look at this army. I bet you they're going to get engaged here in Burgon. And this army is not going to flinch once at all. They're just going to be like, let's hang out in Frenchy company. Yeah. F fucking dumbass AI. Like, I swear, I, sh I should hit the button right now just to... If we could. I mean, I wish we could. We can't. But I should hit the button right now just so that we can freaking have control of their dumbass units because they're too stupid to control them correctly themselves. And, of course, we're losing, even though they have no morale. And this army is just freaking standing there. Fantastic. Why are you... Oh, and now the game's... God damn. Okay. I hate you, Coalition. Wouldn't this be so much easier if we were only fighting one... One person in the Coalition, maybe? That would be great. Can we do that, please? I would love to fight just one. And you're not even... Oh, my God. Come on, I swear, I gave these orders and they don't even follow them. And of course we're gonna lose against the dumb rebels. Even though we got them down to zero morale when they and they said squish, they literally have 0.12 morale out of 100%. They literally should be gone from the map. Thank you, game. You heard my pleas. Now, will you please move your? Nope, nope, nope. They didn't even give a shit. They were like, "Oh yes, please squish me, master. Please squish me." Oh, well, he sucks. Let's get our best general and go use it to fight France. This guy here. Select the army. Um, we just want the general, so we'll send one squad of infantry with him back.
And uh, let's let's consolidate our units that are done sieging. And then let's hit the button on Constantinople. Alright, let's assault that shit. Hopefully it'll work. Wow, I bet you watch it not work. I'm gonna... Oh, there we go, yay! Alright. We didn't lose too many men. Good. And Alright, now let's force march our ass all the way to fight those damn dirty Ottomans up here. I hate you, Ottomans. So much. With such passion and fervor do I hate these Ottomans. Especially because they had a truce with us. I don't understand. I guess the uh, truces don't matter anymore. In this game. And now we're fighting dumb peasants, wasting our manpower. And did we at least get our dude back? At least we have our general now. Alright, let's see if they'll uh, if they'll come with us. If the two hundred thousand troops will come with us, that would be great. <sighs> how's uh how's Castile doing? Probably not well. Yeah, it looks like they got their army kind of squooshed. Will you move with me, please? Please. You king, com I command you. I am the emperor. I command you to move. You dumb bastards. I swear, that's a damn glitch. That is the gl a glitch if I have ever seen one. We're going to move those troops to the mountains. We're going to reinforce them with these guys. Denmark is 100% sieged. Let's start working out our peace deal now. We have those sieges done. Let's see how much is it going to be to eat all of Denmark. Only 34% war score. 36. To eat, to completely consume Denmark. Great. Alright, and then Constantinople is probably going to be like 90 million points. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, so we're going to eat Denmark. And we're also going to get that. And then I was hoping that we could probably, maybe, maybe could we get at least one province from France? Like, Co would be nice. Um, Co and Namers. I don't even really want Burgoyne that much. I just want to start cutting off Paris. So we'll take Co and, and Namers. If we can. Probably not, though, because they're going to be assholes about it. All right, let's crush these Ottoman bastards and pay attention up here just to make sure that the Russians aren't randomly coming in. And then we need to send some troops under Bryansk. We have pretty much everything siege that we want to siege from Russia, so we're going to probably just take Bryansk. If it's like we'll take these things if it's cheap. If it, if it's not if it's like not possible, I'd rather honestly get stuff from France anyways. So yeah, we can just not not even bother with them anymore. After we send this army scurrying, I'm not too I'm not too concerned with the the Ottoman Turks. We'll probably just move our army to Kurdistan and stop them from being able to move north. But here comes a 50,000 stack. And we're going to send our troops in to help. Alright, so we just crushed that army. Great. Now let's go help against Russia. And uh, we definitely want to get these... Uh... Alright, do we have our other 13,000 troops on the way? Yeah. And they're going to move in us, move in on us over here in Walis. Siege of Novgorod is over. Great. Let's go down to Bryansk. And... Uh, save them. Alright, let's uh, force march. Force march. Save Switzerland! Please. 
Oh good, we finished one of the Scottish sieges, thank god. Let's move them to the Highlands just in case the, their army gets frisky. Tries to come back. Looks like we're gonna murder their two ship fleet. And we have yet another cardinal. Not surprising. Alright, so now uh, we're definitely gonna win that battle. Let's uh let's send these guys Let's send this 124 stack. Let's start breaking it up. And we're gonna send these guys over to defeat France. So this is gonna be a really close battle. I'm glad we sent our best general. I'm really pissed that these guys aren't coming to help us though. We're gonna crush France, at least, you know, m like, m numbers wise, we might lose this army, it might get squished. But, you know, let's move, let's just move back to the other mountains. It's fine, they can have that, that victory. That's, that's not even really that big of a victory, they lost so many men. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start sending, we're gonna send these troops back over there, and they'll hopefully then. Alright. Um, are you guys close to finishing over here, or do you want to try to hit the button? Oh, we only have zero military power. Okay, I see. So that's a no. You don't want to try to hit the button. So, we can move up to there and siege, because it's the same as standing there, basically. <sighs> All right, I'm just worried that they're going to sneak past through Armenia, but for now, it's it's not the biggest of deals. Anyways, um, well, yeah, guys, this has been a frustrating episode just for me because, you know, the lagging of the game. But hopefully that's not such a big deal for you guys because um, you shouldn't be able to notice it as much as me because I'm anal about, you know, lag and the frame rate is displayed up on the top of my screen and I can see it all the time. So hopefully it's just, you know, a magical mystery to you guys why I'm complaining so much and bitching all the time. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. You're the best. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one where we'll most likely peace out, kick out the kebab from Europe, and hopefully take a few things from France at least. I'd, I'd, I'd hope to do that. Anyways, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.